Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today uh, we're revisiting an old video um, that was very popular. It's uh, Auto Hockey OCR uh, version one. This is going to be version two. Obviously, the version one is still relevant if you're using version one, but it will not work with version two, so we're going to change that up with a new library. Uh, it's on GitHub. Obviously, the link will be in the description below for download, which you just click the little green button here and push download zip, and then unzip it to your uh, desktop or wherever. Uh, so shout out to Descoloda. I'm sure I butchered that name, um, username, but whatever. Sorry about that. But yeah, here is all the code, um, everything you're gonna need. Uh, it's using the uh, Windows Media OCR library, which is built into Windows. Uh, I think starting with like version 10. Oh yeah, I guess, wow, very specific on the version here. Um, the only thing you would need to really install, like it does stay right here in the description, is a language pack. Uh, if you don't have a certain language installed on your operating system, the OCR is not going to really understand how to handle that, and you'll probably just get a bunch of random characters. But for the most part, Windows comes with quite a lot of languages uh, installed by default. So, unless you're doing something like Klingon or something, you're probably good. Um, but yeah, once you download that, you're going to get this little folder here, OCR main. We're going to open that. And the nice thing about this is it comes with quite a lot of good stuff, uh, besides just the code to uh, interpret everything. Um, Obviously, I'm hoping you know what OCR is if you're watching this video, but hey, just in case you stumbled across it, it's basically taking an image that has text and then turning it into something you could put in your clipboard or whatever. So it's great for like images, PDFs, where you can't highlight text. Uh, you'll still be able to read it and do whatever. Um, but we're going to be working here with examples. And it comes with a lot of examples here. So there's 10 examples. I'm not going to cover every single one. You know, just kind of explore. They're, ma uh, they're named pretty well to give you a brief explanation of what they do. Um, but yeah, let's start with, uh, I think the one I could see me using and possibly most people is the OCR uh, screen snip, which is example number 10. I believe I already have that one open. Let me resize this a little bit. Yeah, right, that seems good. Um, so yeah, here we are. Uh, this is uh, <clears throat> example 10. And as you see, we're going to be running uh, version 2. Uh, it's getting the library. Uh, it starts with a message box. You can obviously delete that if you want. Uh, it's going to be using WinC uh, as the hotkey. But, you know, you can change that also. So, like, if I want, I can just do F1. Simple change, save the script. Um, after that, though... Uh, it, not a lot you really need to do here. It's pretty well formatted and everything. Um, I think the only thing I really truly did is this had a tooltip. Um, I just put in here to also save it to the clipboard. Because uh, obviously if I'm getting OCR or using OCR, I probably want to do something with the text. Because uh, obviously I can read an image. Um, I want to do something with the text. So we're just going to throw it into the clipboard here. Uh, anything below here where all the green is, all the comments, you're really not going to have to mess with unless you really know what you're doing. Um, but once again, there's a lot to read here, so if you're looking for simple, you're good. If not, just explore. Uh, so yeah, let's try, uh, go ahead and launch this one. Uh, that was example 10. So there's that message box. Obviously, I changed it away from WinC to F1. Um... Yeah, let's just go in here and do this. Uh, actually, I don't think I have an image anywhere, but that's fine. Um, let's pretend this is an image, but I'm going to push F1. Uh, there we go. I'm going to get this little crosshair. I don't know if you can see this, but hopefully you can. I'm going to highlight the area that I want. So I just highlight it, uh, clip weight. Now, it's not perfect because uh, the formatting here, but... So it kind of messed up there, which is surprising because it's actually been pretty good usually. Let's try that again real quick. Let's do... S I might have made the box a little too small. Cut some of it off, that's fine. There we go. Yeah, I just made the... Give it a little uh, bu buffer room, I guess. So sleep 100, so it did copy that. It shows you the little uh, tooltip there uh, for a little bit. You can also delete the tooltip if you don't want that showing. Uh, but that goes away after like 7 seconds. 
So yeah, that one I like. That one I can see the most using. Uh, another one I thought that people would probably be really interested in is example number two. That one is highlight text. And uh, this one, for the most part, I did not modify, I believe. But you could do the same thing where you could have it go into a clipboard, uh, maybe count how many times it finds something. You could definitely make it more fancy. But it's enough to get you started. So here we're going to be using Notepad. It's going to launch Notepad going to wait for launch of the notepad. We're going to send hello world. You could also ran like an already pre-existing, you know, file uh, that you already had, but we're going to create one here. It's going to wait 40 seconds just so to make sure that hello finishes. And then what we're looking for is right here. You can change this to whatever word you're looking for. You could put an input box up here. I've done plenty of videos using inboxes and then just have the variable here where I'm hard coding the word world into so we're looking for the world the word world say that five times fast and when it finds it it's just gonna basically like as you see here highlight it and it's using this to um, highlight right here it's uh, grabbing the coordinates of where it found it and it's doing a mouse click drag um, and highlight so this one's pretty cool this is a great uh, search feature if you need to add to something um, so let's Make sure I have my other one closed. Let's launch example two, highlight text. Uh, we're gonna want launch it in version two, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and push this and it's going to do its own thing. So it did do that a little fast, I think is the issue because it's a little harder with this sleep here. Let's go ahead and make this like 200 milliseconds because 40 is a little too fast. Let's try that again. There we go. So it was just running that sleep was a little too short. Um, but yeah, as you see, it just highlighted the word uh, world. So it works. Pretty simple. Now there's a few other ones in here. Um, I think it's like text under mouse is a pretty good one. Um, this one creates a box. Um, let me actually open that so we can talk about the code. And this one, you can change the size of the box. Um, but as you see, as I move the red box around, it's showing in a tooltip right under there what is under the mouse. This is another one I think a lot of people find useful. Um, I believe it's, yeah, right here, right, left, up, and down, arrow keys on your keyboard. will actually change the size of the box. As you see, I can make it bigger, smaller that way, bigger that way. You know, I can do a lot of different size changes very smoothly. But obviously with this right, left, up, and down, maybe your keyboard doesn't have that or you just don't like it like that, you can always just change the hotkey right here to whatever you want. Um, so that's good. And then I did add uh, F2 exit app into this code just because it makes it easier to close the script down without having to go down, right click, and say uh, close script. Uh, what else? There was a few other ones. There was Find From Window. Uh, you can click on the text. That one I don't find very useful. I'm not sure why you would use that one. Uh, but it's there for a reason. So if someone has a use, Find Strings. I mean, there's a lot. Partial From Window. Cluster Words. Fuzzy Matching. Um, this one I wasn't sure exactly what it did. I don't remember looking at this one. I don't think I actually did. Well, it created a red box for some reason seems to be working its way down. Um, now some of this is obviously like here's one that's uh, credit from iFillup. Uh, links to I guess the forms where a lot of this code was uh, used. What is this one doing? I honestly don't know. I'll have to look in this a little better. I'll, I'll write a comment later when I explore them a little bit better. Um, but this is a great example. Uh, if you guys have any questions uh, definitely ask in the comments below. Also, I've modified a few of these as I talked about in the video. If you guys modify any of these scripts that you think could be useful, maybe one I didn't even look at yet or did differently than I did, definitely share kind of like why you did it and maybe a line or two of the code you changed uh, just so we all have options to better explore this and uh, maybe come up with ideas that maybe I didn't think of or mention in this video. And yeah, I will hopefully be soon doing a image search and pixel search v2 coming up. That's another popular video in v1. Uh, I did one uh, in v2, but it was like a macro recorder. I want to do one where I'm actually talking about like the actual 
solid code and uh, how to manipulate it and stuff and how that works. Um, so basically look out for that. Definitely hit subscribe, HK videos or automation videos every single week. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye. Oh, actually, before I leave, uh, channel just launched a membership uh, thing. It unlocks icons. Uh, that go next to your name, showing kind of just, hey, you're a nice supporter of this channel. Also, it gives you, at the moment, four uh, custom-made emojis have to do with auto hotkeys. I will be adding emojis more later, but I'm only allowed to have four until the user base grows a little bit. So check that out. $1.99. It's under the join, under this video, or on the main page. And thank you all for the support. Love being here. Love having you guys watch. See you on the next one.